not going to say recording. Uh, yeah, I think I'm All recording. Right, the, yeah, yeah, you you are. Yes, great, great to see you, Dave. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? What's yeah, going not on, Rob? Too bad. A little bit cold here. We had for about, where's that? Yeah, I'm in the Netherlands. Okay, in the nice. Real lowlands. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm in Mexico. Oh, I think you have a little bit more sun than we do. I'm in the outer lands, yes. Yeah. So, so how many degrees do you have right now? Fahrenheit, probably eighty-eight. Eighty-eight Fahrenheit. Let me let me dig this up because I'm in Celsius. It's hot. 88 Fahrenheit. 88 Fahrenheit to Celsius. Oh, wow. 31 degrees Celsius. That's that's good. We have minus two Celsius. So that's, Lovely. Uh, <laughs> like yeah, 30, lovely. 28, 29. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How is that possible on a flat earth? Can you explain that to me? No, I can't. <laughs> You can't come on it's so ah, easy it's you know there's so so many things that, that that you can wrap your head around and sometimes you have a decent answer to that and sometimes it just doesn't make this? any sense <laughs> so so the netherlands are right here right netherlands are right up here in the inner area yeah right yeah. somewhere in there yeah and mexico is, is mexico is down here right very wow. small well, we're closer to the sun, so it's warmer. You're farther from the sun. And because you're farther from the sun, it looks like it's lower in the sky because it's farther away. Yeah, exactly. That's it. That's it. Seasons only make sense on a flat earth. The, well, I was, I was writing some things down. And the funny thing is you made this beautiful app. I use it once in a while. And the funny thing is, you made this app so amazing that you can everything that you can discuss with the with the, with the globe, let's say, you can say no, look at this, look at that, but there's no such thing except probably what is it, Google Earth that shows the round ball, and the rest doesn't make any sense on a round globe. And that's so. They funny. have nothing. They, they have, have nothing. nothing. The globe nothing. has nothing. It's so other than indoctrinated people that can't let go of their ball yeah that's um, but that's that's the thing right um i want to ask you um how did you get to this journey about flat earth because i was talking to mark Sargent uh the other day yep. on friday we had a great podcast already and uh i was very excited to have you also on and you were talking at flat flat tober fest uh, together with Mark, you were sitting there on the, on the same table, right? And uh, probably you are the guys, the pioneers about flat Earth, isn't it? Well, we're we're outspoken. We're not the pioneers. Mm. No, no. Well, well, probably decades, thousands of years before, there were uh, no argument. Well, the, the, about... the, yeah, there, I mean, in today's modern time, there's lots of us. Mark and I are some of the most outspoken doesn't make us the pioneers. It just makes us doing our best to reach as many people as possible. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw a lot of guys uh, and nowadays, well, for my journey, it started also around 2014, 2015, where I had more, a little bit more time to dig into some stuff that I'm really interested in. And, and you guys popped up just like normal algorithm on YouTube. It was uh, no problem to find some, uh, some truth and some things that you could debunk. Uh, nowadays, it's almost impossible. But we have, of course, the internet. And the great thing about internet, just like TikTok and Instagram, uh, Tyler Hansen, I'm going to have him on my show. He makes great videos about it. You got K-Lab. Uh, Tyler, um, Tyler is, uh, he's, looked, he's looking at something very interesting with the dogs. Yeah. Okay. Let me just say something. There's a thing called pareidolia where you see things that aren't there. And that's a real phenomenon. Like you can look at something and go, oh, I see a face, you know, and it's not. It's just pareidolia. That, that's where you see things. But he is seeing these dogs. They're like that's not just a dog. That's a collie. That's a lab. That's a German shepherd. You see these faces 
And I said, okay. He's showing them in like in explosions and in the sun and in, in uh, just fake NASA video smoke and stuff. And so I said, all right, let me go look at some real explosions, some real videos um, without fakery. Can't find a single dog, not one. Okay. <laughs> but they're everywhere in the fake stuff. Right. And, and, and dog backwards is God. Mm-hmm. I used to just laugh at that thinking it was nothing. A dog is here to teach us unconditional love that kind of relates to God. And the fact that we're seeing these dogs everywhere tells me we have no idea what this place is. Okay. We have no idea (laughs) the wizardry that is going on. It is beyond even what us truth seekers, you know, are fathoming. It's beyond it. And uh, Tyler is very brave. Um, putting his neck out there because he's just going to get, he's going to get crapped on. He's getting crapped on by everybody. Oh yeah. You know, because, (laughs) but, but you know what? That's when I did my, you know, when I started talking about flat earth, man, you know, in 2014, you say flat earth, you're just a, uh, you're, you're just a moron, you know, you're, you're an idiot. (laughs) And I just got an email. (laughs) I literally got an email just when you popped on and it's a, it's um, an email and they, they did it through my website. And so their email address is flat earth retard at gmail.com. So it's a fake email. And they say, um, you are a effing spelled out moron, LOL, flat earth. Ha 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 ha. Right. I get these emails all the time, but that's the best that they have. That's all they, that they have. They have they, they've got nothing. Yeah. That's the so thing. That, that's the thing I've been that saving all of those. I, yeah. I, I clip them. I save them and I'm going to literally make a book. Glober. <laughs> page and then a flat earther page because i get messages from flat earthers like hey you saved my life i got off drugs i i I found a person from your app you know i'm married i have a kid um you know this has changed my life and so it's gonna be global global comment flat earth comment and it's really gonna just show you the contrast i can't wait to get it done oh but that's the thing right The, the only thing they can say is you're a retard you're stupid and stuff like that but with no underlying science yeah. or just like, okay, let's go in a dialogue. And they come up with these stupid things and they don't know where they live. So the, the funny thing they don't, is- They don't even I, know their own model. They, no, don't, they don't even know their own model. They're, they're defending a model they don't even understand. It's, isn't that crazy? How, how can you do that? <laughs> how, how could you live with yourself when you believe in something that you don't know how it works well some things like technical stuff i I can say okay sometimes with uh if you have mathematical things or stuff like that but you you can dig into it like one hour or two hour and you can make as i would say the plausible truth for yourself but the most people that i talk to about flat earth they give you these answers just like who is the moron here who is the retarded here there isn't that Isn't that crazy? They call us retards. They say that we're unwilling to change our minds. They say that we're stupid. Um, I offer three Bitcoins for one one globe proof. Nobody has claimed they're, you know, they've got nothing. Um, We all used to be Globers and we changed our mind based on new information. So there goes that comment. And um, the, the ball is stupid. It's the dumbest thing ever. And people are so lost and locked into it. It's shocking. It's literally shocking. Like Mm. when I, you know, I can understand somebody lost because they never, they were brainwashed into not looking at flat earth to laughing at flat earth and to believing the globe, because that's what their authority figures have told them. Mm -hmm. I can, I can accept that. But then when you have a conversation with somebody and you say, Hey, have you looked at this? Have you looked at this? Have you looked at stars staying in the same place and not moving and Polaris and the sizes and the brightness and all of that stuff and rockets, then there's no excuse. Once you're shown, if you're unwilling to process that information, some people can't because their brains are too fluoridated, um, then, then, then that's, where, that's where you have a problem. Ignorance is, is a thing that you know people are trapped into, but willful ignorance after you're explained, after you watch a podcast like this perhaps, mm-hmm. and then refuse to look at the information that's uh that's unacceptable in my book yeah that's and, and 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 coming back to to you um and and a little bit introducing to to the to the to the to the listeners and to the viewers um 
we had some technical difficulties, but we, we solved them somehow. So that's good. Uh, today, we're, uh, we're having a, a great podcast with uh, a special guest, very special guest, especially in the community of Flat Earth, but also other conspiracy. We will talk about that later, probably. And uh, we have Flat Earth Dave, also known as uh, David Weiss. And uh, David, please introduce yourself a little bit to, uh, to our community, the Disorganized Productions community, as you would say, or the listeners to this podcast. Um, I'm just a normal guy. I grew up in, uh, you know, in uh, the East Coast in America. I went to college, got my degree, worked in corporate America, worked my way up, um, left corporate America, started my own um, very successful uh, commercial solar development company. And at the same time, I was doing a podcast called Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole about conspiracies, about deceptions. Mm -hmm. <coughs> And um, second year of that podcast, people started throwing flat earth stuff at me and I refused, I, re I refused, excuse me. I refused to watch um, even a one minute video, flat earth, dumbest thing ever, I don't have time for that. There's too many important things. And then finally my friend, Sophia Smallstorm, she made me watch a couple of videos. And now uh, actually one of them was Mark Sargent's uh, first uh, one or two of his clues. Hmm. And, uh, and I, and I, and I went in with a bad attitude. The attitude was I'm going to watch this crap and I'm going to disprove it. And I'm going to prove the globe. Uh -huh. And that's how we all become flat earthers. When you actually try to look at the evidence, right? Yep. The people that believe in the globe have not looked at the evidence. They have not, even if they have looked at it, they haven't processed it because they're just too scared and too, you know, their brains are too immature. Hmm. So, um, so I watched it and I was like, okay. And then YouTube said, oh, you like that? Watch this. Watch this taboo conspiracy. Watch this. Watch this. And they just kept feeding me more and more. And I'm watching them. People go, oh, where'd you learn the earth is flat on YouTube? YouTube is a source of information. Crap, good stuff, meaningless stuff, helpful stuff. It's, everything's there. Just like life. You have to mm. sort everything out. You can go to a library and read fiction or nonfiction. Right on the on the internet on there on YouTube, there's fiction and nonfiction, and then we look. You know, the flat earthers are science deniers. No, 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 no. We are science users. We hold science's feet to the fire. We don't just say science, physics. You know, because you ask a glover, what's your proof of the globe? They go physics, science. Like that's not proof of anything. That's a word. Mm. You're hijacking a word. We actually use it, observable, measurable, repeatable, testable, you know, uh, scientific experiments, right? And people say, you know, people are like, well, well if, uh, you know, if, if, if it's not the Earth uh, causing the lunar eclipse, then what is it? We don't have to answer that. We can prove that it's not the Earth, mm -hmm. right? If you were accused of stealing the last cookie out of the cookie jar, right? And everyone, that's it. And this is a horrible crime. You took the last cookie. That's not acceptable. But then I could prove that you were in another country when the cookie went missing. Uh huh. Absolutely true, 100%. The person can't come to me and go, well, then who did it? Until you tell me we're going to say it's him. No. Falsification is independent of replacement. Right? Mm. If you prove something false, that's fine. If you know what the real solution is, awesome. But you don't, it's not required. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, how, how was the, uh, the, the flat, uh, uh, flat, flat, flat tober, is it, right? How was it? Uh, flat tober was, fast. Yeah, flat tober fast. Yeah, exactly. Were there a lot of people there? There's about 500 people there. And uh, it's always great being around open minded people like, Flattoberfest for me, these conferences to me, um, I'd say half of the presentations were stuff I really wanted to hear. The other half was like, okay, I kind of know that stuff already. And mm -hmm. it's interesting, but it's, uh, I would say that's 95% um, just being around awake, aware people. Like no matter where you are, you can have any conversation and no one's going to be like, oh my God, I'm offended. You know, <laughs> oh my God, you know, because everyone's awake and aware. Flat earthers are awake and aware to all of all the deceptions, not all of them, but most of the big deceptions of the world, right? With, there's deceptions that 
we're not even aware of yet. There's some crazy stuff going on here in the United States right now with that with uh you know so the, with they're trying to fake aliens, but some there was a big event and a thing that happened in Florida, and just the videos are coming out of there. It's like people are saying they saw like these very tall non-human creatures at a mall, and like eight eighty cop cars showed up and. It was crazy, but I, I don't know. It wasn't there. I, it's just, it's just interesting. And it all's coming together while they're pushing the alien agenda. Um, you know, I'm waiting for that fake alien invasion and it's gonna, you know, I got my GM, my GMO free popcorn and I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that's, you know, sit back and, and have a popcorn and just watch the freak show go over. <laughs> and the funny I thing is, I actually get some popcorn with car- caramel on it because it's going to be really ooh, good. Caramel, oh, I love caramel. That, that's, caramel one that. <laughs> that's one of yes, my guilty pleasures. That's one of my guilty pleasures right there, just like chocolate and ice cream. <laughs> but the funny thing yeah. is, when I when I dig into some uh, rabbit holes, I I, I looked at uh, ancient times on discovery and stuff like that. I really really love that. And then this flat Earth thing came over, just like okay, that could be interesting but how and then you could find awesome um, videos about it and stuff like that and when you when i start to dig down into that, into that rabbit hole the only program i looked and where i searched was youtube so eventually i didn't watch any tv didn't look at or listen to radio shows and stuff like that because i just had something like oh my god what is this be as that they are trying to tell me all the goddamn time. We're going to be invaded by aliens. They're going to be, uh, uh, just like you said, in, in, in California, there will be uh, eight, eight, eight feet tall uh, humans walking down the earth. They're going to be asteroid hitting the earth once in a while. <laughs> and the funny thing is, if you, if you take that down from yourself, there's so much peace, and then your mind starts to work just like, but how is this working? And I agree with you. Uh, on one level, uh, especially 2015 and 16, 17, the internet was the biggest knowledge base of anything that you could search up. And you got some answers. And for me, it's always, is it the plausible answer for my own truth? And it, when, it, when it's resonating with me, it's like, okay, huh, that makes more sense than what they tell me to do. And uh, now... Um, you can't find anything. And the funny thing is, I found oh, Mark Sargent that, on Wikipedia, but you don't have a Wikipedia page, Dave. What's happening? Oh, internet connection is... Really- I don't know. I don't know. There, There is a guy that's building a flat Wikipedia. Oh, really? I hear you. Yeah, but... but- you're stuck sometimes. I don't know. You hear me you... now? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Am I stuck now? No, you're not. I'm good? Yeah, now you're good. Yeah. All right. Well, here, here's the thing. I'm recording on my side, so I'll send you my copy too. And uh, if you need to edit a piece. Now you're frozen. What is going on? No, now you're not frozen. Are we good? We're good. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have a delay. There's a little bit of a delay. Is there there's a delay? Yeah, there's a, but, but it, it's getting worse now somehow. It wasn't in the beginning. All right. Leave and come back. And oh, then yeah, hit record again. That. Leave and come back. So I got to copy you this. You do that. Uh, wait, do I have it in the Zoom? Yeah, I think I do, right? Okay, I'm... I sent you, you have it in the email. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. On this computer. Right. And he's, he's still a little bit rendering from the, uh, the episode that we ju- just did, but that's okay. But now you're good. Okay. Yeah. Um, so... All right. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Good. Where were we? Yeah, exactly. Where were we? The, the, all about the, uh, the the knowledge base uh, from from YouTube and the internet. Basically, you could search everything that you would uh, like to search right. on, and you can make up your own plausible truth. 
um, and I'm a critical thinker. I'm, um, people like to say, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm critical thinking about some answers that people give me. And, and if they don't make sense, I like to know more about so it makes my plausible truth, I say. Con I'm a conspiracy analyst. I, you know, when two or more people get together for their own benefit, happens even in your own home daily. Um, that's a conspiracy. And I'm a conspiracy analyst. The difference between a conspiracy and a fact uh, used to be six months, now it's six weeks. Okay. Because all of this stuff is becoming, uh, becoming real again. But you mentioned it before. <laughs> Excuse me. You mentioned it before. Are we, are we okay? You can hear me, right? I can hear you, but your uh, uh, your screen is frozen. Are we having a problem again? God darn it! Uh, we shouldn't put that on the internet That's because I good. think they they try like to that. <laughs> they send over the bad vibes. <laughs> uh, maybe a, if no, it's you a, tough. It, the internet's not. So yeah, I got full internet. I can see that um, right now, and I already. Yeah added more data so that shouldn't be the problem let me check it because my thing normally when i go now to youtube or stuff like that it, it would say oh man you got you got too much data going on so there there will be a little problem uh let me see oh yeah frozen I'm, I'm now? Good. am i frozen no, you're not frozen, but 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 it's very pixelized. The screen That's not good. Could you? Well, if on? you can hear me, yeah, I can hear you. I'll, yeah. just, I'll just give you my. You can hear me? Um, can you see? Can you read? Yeah, but it's frozen no. all the time now. But we, we can. I can edit that. So if it's a little bit stocky, I will. I will introduce it that we had some. Um, latency, I think it's called, okay. right? Yeah. Well, maybe everyone uh, is going to search uh, Flat Earth right now. <laughs> so they, they all have <laughs> maybe, an awakening maybe, state maybe. when they wake up tomorrow night. <laughs> I, I was going to just say that um, that's why I created this app um, so people can find all the good information. It's all there. I have the frequently asked questions section. Um, uh, where, you know, where people are like, oh, what about this? What about that? It's all there. Actually, the internet is not doing so good because my app won't even load right now. That's great. Um, I guess the bandwidth is on, on my issue. Um, but the app has tons, has all the information you need. And, and uh, as that's what I was going to say before, belief is the enemy of knowing belief is easy. Hmm. You can believe you live on a ball because someone told you and do no effort. But if you want to know that it's not a ball, you got to take the time. You got to use critical thought, not just memorization, actual God-given critical thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, that's the thing. If you look at the app, there is so much evidence provided for the non-believers that you can you yeah. can wrap your head around. And especially nowadays when there are more and more people um, talking about it, showing more and more evidence. And um, thumbs up for you, uh, Dave, as I see all the videos that you posted with all the evidence on your, on your uh, kitchen table with the sun, how it works. It makes so much more sense. Yeah. And um, the, the funny thing is uh, when people talk about, no, 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 it's retarded. We live on the globe. Okay, give me some evidence. Maybe come up with one or two questions that we will a little bit struggle on. And you, you have it with podcasts with some questions. You have, okay, okay, how do they mean? And what's the perspective of this question? Or what do they want us as an outcome? Yeah, exactly, that video. But that video shows exactly where we're living on. So you, you can do that if you're in, in, in a, in, on a globe. You can't do that on a globe. No. And that's the funny thing. Right? So how can people argue that we're not living on a flat earth 
if you got all this evidence showing up and and they come up with with, with of course with, they, with... yeah please tell yeah they refuse to look right they refuse to understand that this line is level and this sun is not going below that this thing right here it's mm. a level line it's all perspective right here's the sun what's it going behind what is that what is it going behind it's going beyond the opaque horizon. When you look at the horizon, you know how flat earthers say the sun rises, I mean, the horizon rises to eye level. Mm -hmm. I'm changing that. The horizon is thousands of feet over your head. Thousands. Uh -huh. Thousands. And it makes sense because, you, because you got these, these, these uh, electromagnetic fields and stuff like that. All the stuff that's in, in our atmosphere which makes it yeah. disappear, right? Right. So here is here is um, a city. And as we move farther away, it gets smaller and smaller and lower and lower, right? Uh -huh. So this line, this horizon is higher, is, is the height of those buildings. <laughs> and the sun just goes beyond it. Wow. Just like that. Yeah. Just goes beyond it. So here, here is, um, we're looking up at this building and the sun is moving, like say it's noon. Now it's like one o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. So is that sun below the horizon or is it, is it beyond the building? Uh -huh. Beyond. <clears throat> right. That's it. So, yeah, yeah. So when you when you um when you look at let me just try to find it. Here we go. Um, when you look at the way perspective works, let's go here. And so this is his eye height. And so we put this mountain here. This mountain top is at his eye level or above it. It's above. It's above it. And the yeah. sun, just like the building, is the sun below the mountain or beyond it? Beyond. Yeah. Right. And how could this guy see the sun again if he went up high or if he went backwards a couple miles? Uh, right. Because of a better. Both, yeah. 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 So it goes backwards a, lo a little bit. And now the his horizon looks like this. So this horizon, is it at his eye level or is it thousands of feet above his eye level? Now it's on his eye level. Well, it looks like it's at his eye level. But it's really still thousands of feet above his eye level. Oh, but his it's... eyes have compressed it. This is still thousands. He just went backwards on a flat plane. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And now the top, the top of this mountain looks like it's at his eye level, but it's still several thousand feet above his eyes. Perspective. It's it worse. Ready? So now watch the sun as it goes farther away. Is it going below the mountain or beyond it? <laughs> It's that's good. Good question. Is it trick it's question? Go, it's going. It's going beyond it. Yeah, it's just going beyond it, just like it did when it was closer. Same thing. So now we add the clouds. Cut the sun up here. Mm -hmm. So the clouds are high in the air, and the sun is above it. And the sun just goes beyond this horizon, horizontal eye zone. So now, what can we say about this horizon here? The clouds have merged into this horizon. So this. Mountaintops are thousands of feet above his eyes, and the clouds, which look like they're there also, are thousands of feet above the mountain. And the sun is above it, so it just went beyond it. Exactly. Wow. It is, it, and Globers, Globers cannot understand that. It's amazing. No, and they only come up with, like I like said, like two, three. I, I don't think they can have 10 things that is real evidence that you can look at. And if you look at the evidence that flat earthers have or critical thinkers or flat earth analysts, it's so, it's so much that you can't wrap your head around just like, okay, you don't have to dig into that because that's retarded because there's so many things that you can point on and how many experience that you do by yourself, David, um, to prove yourself what well that's the question right most of the people that i talk to in this community is just like oh man uh, when i 
when that came up, just like flat earth, just like, oh man, I'm going to debunk that within a few minutes. And then you dig into that rabbit hole, just like, oh crap, how can I debunk it? <laughs> I mean, right. I talked to, oh. yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish what you're saying. I talked to Alex from the Fermental podcast. And he said, basically what they do is when you're in a room with only white people and you don't see anyone behind you, you could say an argument, okay, there are only white people, but that's not true. You, 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 you don't see more, but that's a stupid argument to say that there are only white people here. <laughs> it's only what you see. So when you went right. outside, you could probably see more different colors of people. So you will debunk yourself directly, but that's not what they do. They, they stay in the room <laughs> with their own perspective. And um, probably you have that question all, almost it, thousands of times. Yeah. I, I say that, that they have to straw man to glurf, right? Because mm -hmm. to be a globe earther, you have to straw man like uh, um, flat earthers. For example, Austin Witsit did a debate on modern day debates a couple of days ago. And the guy, uh, his argument, he goes, flat earth is dangerous because mad Mike Hughes killed himself trying to prove the earth was flat in a rocket ship. You know about mad Mike Hughes? No. So mad Mike Hughes was a daredevil um, and he wanted to um, take the record from evil Knievel on the highest, farthest steam powered rocket jump. And um, his steam powered rocket, uh, he needed to raise some money. So some flat earthers said to him and said, Hey, this is going to get a lot of publicity. If we raise the $7,000 you need, will you put a flat earth sticker on your, just say flat earth on the rocket just to get people thinking about flat earth. Pretty cool. Hmm. So they raised the money and um, he did it and he died. He killed himself. Right. Okay. Supposedly some people say he's not dead. Let's just say he's dead though. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, because um, and he jumped 1,800 feet, right? 1,800 feet. And that was his goal, to get 1,800 feet. So to prove the Earth is flat, is there any place in the world you can get higher than 1,800 feet? Yeah, a lot of buildings, mountains, everywhere, mm -hmm. okay? So the mainstream news ran with it worldwide. Man trying to prove the Earth is flat kills himself, <laughs> okay? Man trying to, yeah, and, and they all run with it. And then the Globers use that as their why flat earth is dangerous. Are you freaking kidding me? The guy wasn't trying to prove flat earth. He wasn't even a flat earther, right? He just was trying to do, be a daredevil. And mm. that's, that's what they have. They have nothing. So you go out in a clear day and uh, with um, cumulus clouds, you got these clouds thousands of feet above your head. And mm. then within 20 to 25 miles, they literally look like they're touching the horizon. But yeah. we know that these clouds are still the same height as these clouds. Yeah. We know. Right. And, um, and 25 miles is only like about 200, 300 feet of curvature. If the earth was a globe. So we know this is perspective because we can, we know that, you know, this isn't 200, 300 feet. This is thousands of feet above your head mm -hmm. and they all merge into this horizontal eye zone. Yeah. Right. We have our, we have our, our perspective grid. So, Again, we got mountains in here. The clouds that are farther away, are they below the horizon or are they beyond the mountain? Just like I showed you before. Yeah, They're beyond. beyond. Yeah. They're beyond, yeah. right? So we move the mountains into the distance and fill in the foreground here. There, we go. there you go. And we have the same thing. Thousands of feet above his eyes and things just go beyond it. Beyond it. The sun is above it and it goes beyond it. Now, people now watch this. When the sun goes beyond it, I don't care if you have the Hubble telescope, you can't zoom in and bring it back. Why? Because there's a physical barrier in front of you. Hmm. Now, if we were doing this over water, same thing. The atmosphere becomes opaque with clouds or without. The sun goes beyond it. You cannot zoom it back in no matter how much of a telescope you have because it's beyond something opaque. Now, a boat or a city skyline, that's below the horizon. That's a terrestrial object. And they'll disappear due to perspective. 
And if you zoom in, you can see it again because it's not beyond. It's yeah. just it's just small and you can zoom it in again. So when the Globers got to got to glurf the globe, um, you got a straw man to glurf um, it, it. They they will not accept the fact that there is a difference between terrestrial to terrestrial observations and terrestrial to celestial observations because there's layers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Layers. It's fascinating, isn't it? It's fascinating that all the people that I talk to that are now uh, flat earthers, they all yeah. try to debunk the theory about we're not living on a flat earth. No way. No way. Just like yourself, you, you just did the experiments and just like, holy, holy crap, how how does this work and you dig in more into it and you, just like you, you you did you did some experience and stuff like that and then just like whoa <clears throat> this doesn't make any sense that we're living on a globe the, people the, yeah people oh, say what about photos from space nasa the international space station so this is from the international space station we have our hurricane right this uh -huh. is a very big pretty big freaking hurricane right hurricane that's a hurricane Right. They tell us that hurricane is 400 miles wide. So this is the 400 miles on a globe. Right. So this is the United States from NASA. I'm using the same size circle, the same size circle. I just overlaid the globe. Mm -hmm. So the United States is only 400 miles long and it's not even to the edge yet. It's like 3,500 miles. Right. <laughs> so there. They've got nothing. Then you compare it to another another shot they have. Let me move over a little bit. Uh, this is the United States. So the United States is even smaller now, and I'm 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 making them the same size. What does that tell you? It makes no. It sense. tells you that they're lying. It tells you that they're lying, right? This is supposedly 400 miles. This is the United States from here to here is 3,500 miles. Mm -hmm. Got another thousand over here, but that's the size of this hurricane. <laughs> right how stupid are they it's and they, they say that we're that we're cult you know we're in a cult flat earth is a cult right this is what they want you to think a cult leader looks like this is um charles manson i don't know if you guys know yeah. about him for yeah. cult leader right but this, this is what a cult really looks like here's oh, our yeah. cult leader neil deGrasse Tyson, <laughs> and yeah. everybody worshiping the globe right yeah. Isn't that unbelievable that 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 when you dig now into some topics and it doesn't matter what conspiracy between between the lines you dig in, uh, there's no information to be found. It's something like my parents told me, oh, you got a question that I don't want to answer. Shut up. You know, th th there's no plausible answer. So just shut up. Why? Why can yeah. I dig into some stuff that... Uh, you know, that, that, that brings out an answer that I'm <clears throat> related with or that I, yeah, that, that will resonate what type with. Of floor, what type of floor do you have in your room right now? What kind of floor is it? Uh, it's, uh, what's it called? It's this PVC kind of Hardwood, thing. linoleum, yeah. PVC. Okay, so PVC, yeah, PVC great. Yeah. PVC floor. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. let's talk about the lights in the ceiling to prove what the floor is made out of and the shape of the floor, okay? We'll talk mm -hmm. about the lights in the ceiling. All right? Does that make sense? Yeah. That, that's what Globe is like. They like to point up to the lights in the sky that are provably not what they tell us, right? Provably. You can't have a burning ball of gas in a space vacuum. It, it, it breaks the laws of physics. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they, they like to say, well, you, you know, from the three different continents, you could see the Southern Cross at the same time. Well, there's actually only 20 minutes of one day per year that somebody here, here, uh -huh. and here can see the Southern Cross. OK, here's the problem. Here's the problem. This guy's looking south. This guy's looking southwest. And this guy's looking southeast and they can see the Southern Cross. But if the Earth were a globe, let me see if I have that here. Um, if the Earth was a globe, I can't change that. If you're here looking at the globe, looking at the Southern Cross, you, 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 you would be looking down towards Antarctica on the globe. And here you'd be looking down. So the Southern Cross would be upside down. 
These huh. two people would see it upside down from each other, but they don't. They just see it at a slightly different angle, like they're looking across a flat plane, right? Yeah. But here's the problem. People can't process that information in their head because they've been dumbed down, not taught to understand. Like if I, if you and I were in a room across from each other mm -hmm. and I drew a six on the ceiling, you're going to see a nine. Yeah, we're exactly. looking at the same thing. It's and then that would, in global world, that would mean that you're upside down and we're antipodal to each other and we're on a ball. <laughs> that's, that's what it means. Right? That's oh, unbelievable. The, the it funny, is unbelievable. It's, the the, the it's funny thing always, uh, when I say it's uh, just like a ball doesn't hold any water because it's going to slip off, they say, yeah, but that's gravity. But, okay, not by debunking gravity, but how does it work when you say, is, is water then a magnetic stuff that could hold on to something? Well, if you have a ball, you could have a drop of water, probably, but not much than whatever they talk. Large about. bodies of water much. at rest lay flat. Large exactly. bodies of water at rest lay flat. Exactly. Yep. And, and I heard some debunking uh, stuff that they tried to pull on. Just like, yeah, but there are some uh, levels. How do you explain that? Because it always finds its level. Well, that there, if you go to Switzerland, there are some lakes and stuff like that that are above where I live in the Netherlands, right? So that it, it makes completely sense because they're in a, in a, in a, in a back center or how you call it, they, they're enclosed systems. And so it makes they're sense. They're, they're contained. Yeah, they contain. Water yeah, needs exactly. to be contained. Yeah. yeah. What you got there, this beautiful moon. Yeah, so <laughs> this is, a, you know, zooming in, zooming in on the moon and it's a perfect focus. Now, if I wanted to look at something half the distance or twice the distance, I would have to change the focus, correct? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're looking at it at a different end. So, so um, here's the moon out of focus. We just brought a little bit out of focus, right? And then we focus the other way, up front and beyond it. And this is what they call Jupiter. And these are the lights that surround Jupiter. Mm -hmm. And they call them moons. And amazingly, they reflect light so bright that we can see them as bright as stars. So it's amazing how dusty, dirty balls that aren't reflective can reflect light from a distant tiny sun, because from Jupiter, the sun is very tiny. So that mm. distant small sun is reflecting off of the dusty, dirty moon and coming back to us as bright as a star or brighter, right? So yeah. here it is in focus, a tiny bit of focus one way or the other, it goes out of focus forward and backwards. Here it is, but we're going from here and then we just move the camera to the moon, yeah, it makes zero sense. change in focus. They're both the same distance. Whatever they are, the thing that we're looking at is rel is very close to the same distance. Hmm. There's um there's some guys on YouTube that have uh on TikTok that are use telescopes and uh, they they show this in detail and it's phenomenal. Yeah, why, I had a why did it be Tyler was it Tyler? I don't I forget. I think Tyler and and I think uh, I had a Mormon Rishi on a podcast. He was also on the Flat Earth Files from. Yeah. Uh, uh, George Hobbs, and he he has this, this this brilliant telescope and makes really magnificent pictures. And um, I was talking just this Saturday. I was talking to a guy who is an amateur. Uh, what's it called? That you do, uh, astrology. Uh, you know, he likes to look at, at stars and stuff like that. And he said, "Yeah, but Rob, everything is round." I said, "Have you ever take a look at the star? What NASA shows you and how it really looks like?" You can say that it's the same thing. And he was just thinking and thinking, yeah, but I give this lectures and stuff like that. I said, but do you look in your telescope? And he said, well, yeah, well, um, well, except that I'm giving these lectures. I haven't looked at it for a few years now. So what are you trying to say then? If you just can take a look at it, I have a, Huawei P30 Pro. So uh, probably Chinese people are going to uh, look at my stuff that I do all around the world. But I can zoom in with the moon. And I can zoom in just like a star, not that bright. Like this is like a P1000, I think, Nikon. But look at that beauty of that. It makes complete sense. And when you look with your bare eye, you can see that the stars are uh, uh, glaring and having different kinds of uh, colors. Just like you show here. Wow. 
Wait, you're muted. You're muted, Dave. <clears throat> there we go. Sorry about that. Um, NASA would be like, um, we, they don't lie. Look at this. This is a spacewalk. <laughs> Look, watch the, watch the, watch right here. What is that? What, what, what's going on? It's going behind. This is just layers. This is just complete. This alone proves there is no space station. NASA's lying about everything. Yeah. Uh, Tyler then, is, is proving that with the glitches in the uh, uh, in the rockets that they shoot up, just like, oh yeah, was was the bottom gone? Well, when there's an yeah. explosion with SpaceX, he, he said, "What is this here? It's just glaring and 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 glitching all the time. How how is that possible when you have a normal camera, right?" So here they are in the in the bath tube of NASA. <laughs> Well, I don't know what this is. I, you know, sometimes it's underwater. Sometimes they do other stuff. They, I think there's just some wires in this one in the studio. And, and watch his foot. Watch his foot. Oops. Oops. Mm -hmm. It's behind two layers. So it's just showing you how he becomes transparent. Again, they're, do they do this on purpose? Are they just trying to disclose it to us? Or are they just that stupid? Look at I his foot. the last one. I think the last one. Yeah, when you have seven just that stupid. million dollars, I go back. I go back and forth. When you 80, have 80, 80 million, eighty million a day. Oh, 80 million a day. You can do better stuff. I think when I give a uh, a guy that wants to be uh, the new director of of you know of the world something like that and make a brilliant movie and I give him a budget that's like ten million and he he could shoot the film with fifty thousand euros just like amateur but i gave him 10 million he would make something awesome and you have 80 million this, this was yeah no kidding i and i got nothing and i, I can do i i do some green screen <laughs> stuff is pretty, pretty amazing this was um i don't know if this was an official nasa live stream but they they made it look like it was and we saw this line this 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 line like <laughs> what what's going on here besides the flat horizon um, what's what's this line where it's just spliced together? What is this? And this line, by the way, I think it's like five thousand miles. Wait a minute, you can't five thousand miles on a globe. You can't see five thousand miles on a globe. That would go halfway around the globe. In a straight line. <laughs> yeah, a straight line. How? Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> how many proof do you find? Uh... You have found already a lot, and and of course there are a lot of films that you provide yeah. it now on your flat Earth map uh, or flat Earth uh, uh, app, which is really great, guys. You had to dig into that because it's it's really awesome. If you have any questions, you can search in the search bar. You can look at videos, at books, at all the stuff that uh, Dave collects to provide you the truth about where we live in and how we live. Oh, what Here's my, fa my favorite. My favorite is go to the frequently asked questions and um, the why the lie right here. Why the lie? Oh, yeah. Uh, the videos in there are, are phenomenal. Just watch mm. the first couple. That's a great one. And if you also go to the to the um, to the web button, which is I call the more resources page. Mm -hmm. And there is a button right here called full length videos or FE movies. OK, like that. And um, in it are turn off Netflix. You don't need Netflix anymore. I'm going to save you nineteen dollars a month, whatever you're paying for Netflix, and just watch these videos. Again, a stranger's guide to flat earth classic. That's a great first one to watch because it takes the top twenty one questions and answers them in two, three, four minutes each. Mm -hmm. Hibbler Productions, one shot at redemption. You got military whistleblowers with flatten the curve. Um, the mechanical realm. Have you seen that yet? Not about yet. the anti-cathera mechanism, a true working model from thousands of years ago of the flat earth. It works better than anything else. And it's a working model. So when the Globers go, where's your working model? Here it is. Here it is. But here's the problem. <laughs> they won't watch it because it's an hour and 40 minutes and it's well done. Right. Watch these videos again, more Hibbler, um, really great stuff. And just go through these. Uh, Marty leads the ultimate limit test. Watch that mm -hmm. one with the family, although he does swear a lot in there. I just got to throw that out there. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> but I love it. I love it. I, 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 I love it. He uses the words very, very well. Uh, NASA going nowhere since 1958 or whatever. Um, that's Jaron made that one. A great video. Um, uh, Helio Saucery, a biblical one. Phenomenal. Um, some flat earth proofs in here. Uh, all sorts of stuff. And just go through these. There's, uh, part of my challenge is, 
watch the daily video. So every day on my app, mm -hmm. every day on my app, there's a, there's a, a daily video right here. And I say, watch the video every day for two weeks. That's why you're having your breakfast, you're having your coffee, mm -hmm. whatever, watch the video. And at the end of that two weeks, if you can come up with one globe proof, you win three Bitcoins. That's like $125,000. And uh, no one does it. The other challenge is just watch three of the videos in that FE movies list. Mm -hmm. Just watch three of them. And um, if you, you won't come up with a globe proof because by the time you're done with three, you're going to be a flat earther. So if yeah. you can't handle being able to tell your friends and family that um, <laughs> you're not buying the mainstream bull crap anymore, then don't do it. Just live in your bubble and waste your life on uh, never reaching your full potential. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> and the funny thing is the only excuse that they have is, oh, it's one and a half minute, uh, one and a half hour. Oh, I don't have the time for that. Yeah. Right. Wow. I have uh, I'll go to my, my, my YouTube channel, D I T R H stands for deep inside the rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. All of my videos, most of them are under five minutes, three minutes, two minutes, Exactly. right? All short videos. So just bang out those videos. And um, it's, it's scientifically impossible for a working mind to watch a few of these flat earth videos and remain a baller. It just mm. is, it's impossible. It's impossible. And, and on the app, um, let's uh, look at the world view for a second. Mm -hmm. And people say flat earth is dying. Flat earth is growing so fast. It is scary. Oh, you, you I have like uh, 150,000 friend subscribers already. I saw it today. Well, the, the app has 128,000, um, that are on the friend finder, but the app actually, those are people that haven't, that have their friend finder on mm. oh. it's more like 180,000. And then there, there's even more people that have the app that just haven't signed up for this. So these are the people around here. Where, where's the Netherlands? Yeah, um, go now to, no, no, to the left, to the left. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now with the dark space, there is uh, uh, England and a little bit yeah. down Amsterdam. There you see, saw Amst. So uh, now to a little bit to the right. So you see Luxembourg. Okay. Right? No, no, to the right. So, yeah. so you look now at the island okay. of the uh, UK. So where the density is <laughs> and the dark spot, there's Amsterdam yeah. and Rotterdam. Yeah. Yeah, now so, to the right. Now to the right. There's, there's people everywhere. There's people everywhere. And uh, on the app, you can, you, can, you can contact them, right? Like if I go to my profile here, I can create a profile. And then, by the way, this is going to take a huge upgrade. It's going to be like, it's going to help you walk you through setting up your profile and then it's going to match you with other people you're looking for a friend you're looking for a significant other you're looking for a business partner you're looking for somebody that's interested like let's say i want to move to the netherlands i could type in amsterdam or whatever and uh and real estate broker and i could hey i found two flat earth real estate brokers in in wherever i want to go oh. and now let, let me tell you something if you were going to go buy a house and there's dozens countless real estate brokers but there's a flat earth real estate broker. Who are you going to pick? Oh, that one. Because he's got the same belief system as I have. And he has his no, wide be, open. Because view. his mind is open and, and he sees the world for what it is. And right? now I comes say, the best part. Sorry, Dave. Now comes the best part. What does the app cost you per year? It, well, it, the app, $3, one-time charge. One-time charge. One-time charge, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. But there, there's, a, there's a catch. For some of the advanced features, like you can look at the front finder, but if you want to message people, if you want to um, search, uh, do some of the higher, the, the stuff that actually costs money per use, mm -hmm. right? I have to charge more and I charge $11 per year, $11 per year. So anyone that's crying about that, um, maybe you should really be focused on other things. But here's the thing on the friend finder, on the on the on the friend finder map you click this middle button right here mine mine's yellow mm -hmm. um, uh, I it's the number of referrals you have I have 102 people that use my referral code click this little pencil create your referral code because you'll get a random number just create something that they whatever type you know put in Rob whatever you want okay it's the name yeah. of your podcast oh that's up cool. To, up to up to up to seven characters, right? And then um, and then whenever you tell someone about the app, 
the first thing the Apple, after they download it, says, hey, do you have a referral code? Yes or no, it does, there's no skin off their back. They put it in and then you get the credit on your thing. If you, so if you get 11 credits, if you get 11 credits, you can trade them in for a year subscription. So I made it so you don't even have to pay the stupid $11. Wow. Right? Because here's the thing. When, you're, when you talk to someone about Flat Earth, when you talk to someone about Flat Earth and you show them the app, everyone says the same thing. Where do I get that app? And just say, here, use my referral code. And then the app, then the, the subscription's for free. Wow. Right. How? And then a new, I mean, that's, new, like, that's th tremendous. There's a new new button right here, which is the magnifying glass, mm -hmm. and it, it's a video search. So someone said, um, "What was that movie?" Let's see if it works. I'm gonna say, "What? Well, where's that Dave's Flat Earth Kitchen?" Right? You can find it in "Where Does the Sun Go" section. But let's say, um, um, just I'm gonna type in "kitchen." K I T C H E N. I've never tried this. Let's see if it shows up. I type in "kitchen," and Boom. Boom! There's all there the different versions. Uh, uh, it's all, or if you wanna, if you wanna find um, Sean Hibbler's stuff. So H I B B E is it E L E R E L Hibbler. Hibbler. Uh, yeah. Search, search, and here's a bunch of Sean Hibbler stuff. Wow, right? he makes so, tremendous. So, if, if you look like, like level, level up, stuff like yeah, that, and you, you will be. By the way, his next video is called Old World Order. It's going to break open the, 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 our history. It's yep. going to be phenomenal. And he's working with Stu Peters on it. I don't know if you know who he is. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be huge. It's going to yeah. be amazing. So yeah. again, the search feature alone is worth the $11 because you're going to waste all your time looking for videos. All the videos are on here. And actually not all of them, but um, all the videos I feature, the videos that are in playlists are all on here. And we keep adding more, right? So YouTube screwed us with their algorithm. Uh -huh. So I made a new algorithm, right? This <laughs> is the flat one. earther. Yeah. And like uh, when, uh, if someone, if you were like, when someone says, um, I did a show, uh, let's say I'm, um, the, uh, and, and someone wants to book me again. I did the show a couple of years ago and I want to see the, the show that I did with them. Like, how do I find it? Right. And, uh, you, all, you, all you do is just search like, um, there was a, a video, let's say, um, let's say I, I, I was on InfoWars. So I'll just type in InfoWars. That's actually not a good one because, um, because YouTube just removed it. And oh, um, yeah. I'm, oh, they, they, they remove a lot of stuff. A lot. Yeah, but, but here's the thing. Um, so here's anything that's related to InfoWars. But okay, cool. I, found a, I have a, a workaround that literally is going to be um, within the next couple of days where even when YouTube removes it, it remains on here. So again, wow. and then all, this, all my stuff is uh, backed up on flatearthdave.tv. And that's a blockchain server. It's not going anywhere. Like Mastodon? So, Something like that? Like uh, not, not centralized? Uh, yeah, it's all over here. Yeah. Right. Cool. Well, it, it, people that, that listen to, to this that we're talking about and that they can wrap their head around about what we're talking about, flat earth, and how do we come by this, well, let's say belief system. If you check out the app, I will um, mail me, I'll give you the, the, the code. Oh, no, just flat earth, flat earth Dave com. Com. That's There's where you get the app. Everything. everything. Because, the, if you go to interviews, Google, it's, it's interviews. Yeah. But if you go to Google Play, they, they had some stupid globers. You got a, you got a, a straw man to glurf. Um, they made their, an app with the same name, and it's horrible. If you happen to accidentally buy their app, make sure you leave them a proper review. Also, if you buy my app, make sure you leave it a proper review. It's only getting better and better, and the Globers are out there um, you know, trying to – luckily, they don't want to spend the $3 to leave me a bad review, so it's not too bad. <laughs> but but um, you just go to flatterdave.tv, and that's where you can find all my YouTube channels. You can find my interviews channels. Right um, on the app, if you hit the web button, uh, right here are all my interviews, and your interview when it goes on YouTube will be at the top of that list. You hit it, and there's a thousand interviews on that list. Wow. And um, that's tremendous again, work, Dave. I mean, that's yeah. really, really a lot of work, and it works really well. There's so much information that and you that it's unbelievable. How about this? This is the images section. And before you'd have to kind of just scroll through, but let's say you're looking for, um, 
What about the sun under the clouds um, that Glover used? So I put sun, oops, sun, S U N, under, there it is, boom, sun under clouds. <laughs> and this is a picture I actually took last year showing the sun under the clouds, but the tops of the clouds are lit. And then the bottoms are not lit because the Glovers say that the sun lights up the clouds. And no, it doesn't. You know, sometimes you see the sun coming through the clouds and it looks like the bottoms are lit. Um, but again, anything, you know, any specific picture you're looking for, um, <clears throat> you can find it there. So, you know, you want to see photos of Earth, just, you know, put Earth. Um, and here are, that narrows it down to all of the photos of Earth. Wow. And then again, you know, so someone says, you know, you want to pull up a picture and then you can say, all right, I want to send somebody this picture, this picture, this picture, and this picture. And then you hit the little send, uh, the little share button, and you can send up to five uh, images at a time. So wow. all of them at your fingertips. Yeah. So except the book that you're going to make about the Globies that, that, that email you. That's going to be fun. I, yeah, that's really going to be fun. It's going to be a thick book, I think, with only fuck retards and blah 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 stuff like that but it's, no it's gonna be it, it's gonna be funny because because it's gonna be like a disgusting soulless stupid person comment and then a really heartfelt warm um amazing loving message and it's gonna go yeah. back and forth back and forth that's that's how do you deal with with the with the critics um i think that's something i don't that i don't you don't you i don't do. pay, i don't give them any attention i don't give any attention like the one guy mcgoon mctoon um, oh, these yeah. guys are paid deceivers. These guys are paid deceivers, whether they're paid or not. Yeah, I know they make money on the channel, whether they they're they're spiritually um, deceivers or they're willingly uh, deceivers, you know, because somebody's hired them. I, I couldn't tell you which one it is, mm. but paid or possessed is the same thing in my book. Um, they're really just disgusting human beings and you're never going to teach them anything anyway. You know, wow. Austin with it, he, he's debated um, all these guys and he destroys them. And now he's just like, all right, I'm over it. No one wants to talk to that guy. And uh, I actually was at a, um, a biblical debate in Tennessee recently. And there was thousands of people there, you know, thousands, thousands of flat earthers. And uh, everyone's like shaking my hand and saying hello. It was really nice to meet everybody. And at, at, towards the end, this one guy shakes my hand and I was like, hey, what, you know, what, where, where are you from? What's your name? And he goes, Dave, really? And it was McToon. Right. And I looked him in the face and I didn't recognize him right away. <laughs> and I, I recognize, I have to tell you something. He's pure evil. Like he touched my hand and my hand is not the same. It's really not the same. It was like a friggin' month ago. Right. If I could grow a hand back in a year, I'd chop my hand off today. <laughs> okay. But wow. it's so weird. Like he, when you're, when you're he, next to somebody that, that, possessed the mm. energy that he had really affected me it really was disgusting you know so his big thing is going around you know uh, why won't flat earth dave debate me i won't debate him because he's a pointless disgusting piece of crap right mm. and i'm not interested in talking to him i'm interested in talking to people like you and people that are really asking questions about life and that will won't just stick and uh, straw man or stick to their beliefs that unsupported mm. beliefs and straw man us I so, got a good one for you. You, yeah, you know this side man Dan or whatever is yeah, yes. right. I call him straw man straw man Dan. Yeah, so okay. he's so bad. He's yeah, the yeah. worst. The I just I, thing I, I is, forgot about him. Dave, this, yeah. this one you're gonna love. So I was digging up his real name is I think it's uh David Rock or something like that. So I searched him. I never I don't even know. No, okay, but I searched him and it was like five minutes work, right? He has 14 followers on his LinkedIn. And he has 14 uh, um, people that follow him. So he follows 14 people and 14 people are following him. Now comes the deal. He calls himself doctor, right? So I looked at that stuff and he has a PhD in art and media. That doesn't make you a scientific doctor. So he proclaims that he is, and he's talking about that on, on, on YouTube a lot. You know, I know about all the things Rob, he's talking Rob, so he, much crap. His crap, his videos are just comedy. They're just comedy. Yeah. 
and he just snarky comments and they don't even make any sense. He makes zero points exactly. and he makes funny faces. He does nothing. But the problem is it traps weak minds. It traps people that, that aren't willing to use their God given common sense. And then they're like, Oh, you know, well, he didn't make that face and he didn't make that snarky comment. And I, I don't want to go against that because, you know, and, and, People are just weak. I call them weak minds. They do have weak minds because guess what? If you don't use your mind, it becomes weak. If you are a memorizer and a regurgitator, um, you have a weak mind, a weak mind. Dave, Dave I got, uh, um, I don't know. How much time do you have? Five minutes. Five minutes. All right. I'm going to shoot 10 questions for my guests at you. And I have okay. a very, we very can do all, nice we'll question. Do all, we'll do all 10 questions. They don't have to be nice. Ask me some hard questions. Yeah, yeah. These these are normal questions. But I have one hard right. question that I got from uh, one of my so, listeners. It start is, with that one. What do you think about the 24 sun uh, that doesn't set in Antarctica? There is no 24 hour sun in Antarctica. No one has ever seen it. There's some fake videos of it. And people are like, look at the sun. It goes around perfectly, right? So that means that the, the one that the last, the newest one, it goes around perfectly level all the way around. That means that they're at the exact North Pole and there's these buildings there. I'm like, what? I, at the South Pole. <laughs> um, that makes no sense. But they're like, how are you going to fake that? So I took the video and I added two more suns to it. Okay, I so I had three that, yeah. suns circling around, and I have zero budget. I have zero skill in in doing shit like this, and I did it. And my son looked damn well, just as good. Well, what about the shadows? You don't think they could do shadows? You know, they would do them with green screens and stuff. Mm. They could do crazy stuff. They, they they with the green screens, they got um a guy reflecting off of a piano, and the piano's not there. Nothing's there, right? So it, it's like these people are so stupid. But, um, you know, we, we've had people in Antarctica that said, um, you know, that worked there for six months. Well, some worked there for a year. They never saw the sun. They did have some 24 hours of daylight, but that's different than sunlight. Oh, right. When I said that, I said that on uh, when I was on that ridiculous um, supposedly debate with uh, um, uh, fake phony for Professor Dave, I said that daylight is different than sunlight. And they're like, oh, and they literally had to take that out of context. And, and it's like, oh, you don't think the light comes from the sun. I'm like, I never said that. Never said that. Uh, so sunlight, uh, like, here's proof. Before the sun rises, here in Mexico especially, uh, for a half hour, it's daylight, okay? There's yeah, exactly. no sun. There's no sun. The, the sky's lit. I can go on the opposite side, on the west side of my house, and I can see, I can read a book. Right. Wait, where's the sun? It's still below the horizon on the globe. Yeah, exactly. Right. The sun excites the gases in the sky and they become daylight. Right. And, and that's why the we have the colors at sunset because the sun is going away and uh, it's it's exciting. The lower layers of the, all the different gases. And it's, it's amazing. All right. Good. Wow. OK, so, so there is no 24 hour sun in Antarctica. No, and we can we can go there to prove it ourselves. So that's one of the other things. And that, that's not a dis, uh, uh, discussion. Well, people say, course. people say, why don't you go to Antarctica? Here's the problem: if you can get to Antarctica in uh, December 21st or the, right around there, where the sun would be, um, the chances of you having a clear day are close to freaking zero, right? <laughs> so how many times are you gonna have to go there and spend twenty, thirty thousand uh, dollars, and two weeks, three weeks of your time? Um, to try to get this. Here's the thing. It's Crow's high lo um, law of high definition. Anything interesting that can be filmed in high def will be filmed in high def, right? Mm. But it is not. It hasn't happened. And when you're in Antarctica, if you watch the sun, it comes towards you and it comes, it goes away. It antarchs. It antarchs. Look, if I'm in here in the middle, inside mm -hmm. of the tropic where you are, inside of tropical cancer, What's the sun doing? It's arcing around us. Yeah. The Arctic. Okay. Yeah. The Arctic. Isn't that weird? It's like the sky is a clock. The sun is going around us. It's arcing around us. The Arctic. Interesting. When you're out here, the sun is not going around you. It's coming towards you and away. Towards you and away. Wow. That's the, the Antarctic. And if you go on the app in the, in the, um, Antarctica and the 24 hour sun section. Where is that? Um, right there, right there. Whoops. Oh yeah. 
That's the video you made, right? With the three sons and the, uh, and no, well, I'm sure it's in there, yeah. But right right here, there's um there's one of the videos shows the Arctic sun, and you can see that it's circling, and then it shows the Antarctic sun coming towards you and then going away from you. It's not arcing around you. You can literally see it, but you have to stop and think and critically think. Um wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's 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 just beyond beyond it's beyond ridiculous. Where's my twenty four? Is that my twenty four hour sun one? Um, yeah, I think it was a, quite a wide video, right? Yeah, well, I made a, I made a whole bunch of them. I made them. they're on yeah, my TikTok. I see that. So, so do um, you, you going to have a meeting in in Europe? Am I going to have a meeting in Europe? Yeah. I'm not. I'm in. I'm in the United States. Yeah, but, but when is, is there a possibility that you come to Europe once and and uh, uh, talk to uh, to people that that are interested in, uh, in in what we are saying about? Oh yeah, that's the video exactly. Yeah, but, but they're they're my they're the, my the movement sons. is spreading so much right now. Yeah. Um, uh, well, there there's there's flat Earth. Um, there's a meetup in uh, in the UK. How far is that from you? Uh, well, it depends. It's like uh, I have to uh, cross the o the ocean, the little one, but that that will be uh, d depends on where in the UK. So when it's there's been be there's been conferences yeah, it's somewhere near London. Um, there's there's conferences out there. There's uh, my friend Ian. Uh, he's been putting on these uh, um, these meetups, and they've been getting over a hundred people or so. So I think think that's the number. I'm actually speaking at the next one remote like this. Mm -hmm. In January, we're going to actually do a, a full app review, which is I've never done yet because there's so many features on the app that people don't even know about. Okay, is that the uh, uh, the 11 and the 16th February in Anacapulco? Do I no? That, I'm well? speaking. I'm I'm speaking at Anacapulco in Acapulco, Mexico. Uh, that's a big freedom conference. That's going to be an amazing time. Yeah, but I'm, I, I'm really torn at what I'm going to show because you know when you're telling someone about flat Earth, you can show them 15 flat Earth proofs. But if you don't address the one thing that they think proves the globe, then you didn't prove anything. So I have a list of things that I want to get through, but I only have 45 minutes. I ran through my, I literally, I, 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 and I'm deciding, do I talk slower and show less or do I just friggin' steamroll? Yeah. And I'm, I'm going for the steamroll. I'm going to do the whole thing because hopefully I get granted where I have another longer seminar the next day. I'm going to tell people, boom, 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 this, you want to know more? Come to tomorrow's seminar. Come tomorrow. That's what I'm just going to yeah, keep yeah, saying. Exactly. So, uh, so like sneak peek. <laughs> it's like going that. to be, it, I, 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 I'm doing it in like a uh, keynote, which is like PowerPoint. And uh, it's going to be really good. I can't wait. It's wow. going to be and there are other people like Beth Martin, Steve Falconer, Clark Robinson, and Jeff Burrich, uh, uh, Barrick. They're all flat earthers. And, yeah, and Andrew yeah. Kaufman. Throwing them out under the bus, Andy. You're a flat earther. Admit it. Wow. Right? Wow. Okay, so I got 10 fast questions for you. Some are easy. Some are a little bit uh, difficult. They're all easy. Go guess. ahead. Okay, Go what's ahead. your favorite color, uh, Dave? Blue. Boring, right? Okay. Favorite music? Favorite music? That's a, that's a really hard uh, hard thing to answer like i love um conspiracy music uh Solfigio music because it, it, that literally calms your nerves and stuff and mm -hmm. stuff like holy harmony but i also like led zeppelin and the who you know from back in the day yeah. um and uh there's some great um flat earth people that sing some great flat earth tunes i like that too so i, I can't i can't pick a favorite one there But that's okay because it's a very hard yeah. question. You can bring it down in yeah. genres and moods and it, stuff like that. It's all all different stuff. All different yeah. stuff. I, I like some 80s. The, some of the 80s stuff is kind of fun. Um, okay. Yeah, there you go. What's your favorite film or series? Ah, oh, film or series. You know, Breaking Bad was a great one. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. You watch the whole yeah. thing? You watch the whole thing? Yeah, Come yeah on. I did. And uh, and, yeah. Uh, and there's a uh, flat earth uh, reference in there too. They talk there flat earth. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah, but there are in, in Hollywood, there are made a lot of things that have clues to flat earth. And um, it, well, 
sometimes you have to uh, open but, your eyes and just listen what they have to say that you say hey wait a minute but, what did he just said or what do i see when heisner when heisner's wife was grilling him about having two cell phones and because he asked him for a cell phone he's like which one when he's going into surgery she says you told me which one so i know that you have another cell phone and he goes Honey, I was under anesthesia. I could have said the earth is flat. Boom, out of nowhere. <laughs> there it is. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, David, what's your favorite book? My favorite book. It's going to be the book of Enoch when I finish it. Um, there's so many. There's so many. 1984, that's not my favorite book. Um, for a really short book, The Navigator Who Crossed the Ice Wall and uh, The Iron Republic. Oh, I'm a Republican. So I listened to that one. Yeah. 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 So there's great. anyone who wants to listen to that. Yeah. You know, the more guy does a great job. It's a search the iron Republic. Um, it's, you can find it on the app or that one will even show up on YouTube. Um, but, um, the navigator who crossed the ice wall and then, um, another book. I had it right here. Um, there's a new one by that guy. Nose confundant map. Um, I can't reach it. Um, those are cool. I like that. Um, so when you say favorite, now it's my favorite because this is what I'm researching. Yeah, it's, it's a period, right? So same goes with the film and same goes with the music. Sometimes you just have uh, yeah. another favorite. Okay, now some easy questions. What's your favorite uh, beverage or drink? Well, if you're wondering what I'm drinking. Yeah, I was um, wondering. There's this yeah. place that makes that they make they make fresh juices. So and, and I got a, a quart, two quarts of watermelon juice. Uh -huh. Two quarts of fresh orange juice, one quart of pineapple juice, and one quart of grapefruit juice. And all of that, literally freshest, best juice ever, all of that costs like $10 total. Wow. Right? $10. And it's, it's, <laughs> right? without, and like, uh, it's, it's like without it, uh, any alcohol. It, yeah, no, no. That, <laughs> and so what I did, so what I made there is I had um, ice cubes made of orange juice ice cubes. Um, and grapefruit juice ice cubes, and I poured them in a diluted watermelon juice and water, and I just was ice and juice, and it's delicious. Oh, I, it, and if you want to throw some tequila in there, it's not. Yeah. It's not the, <laughs> so not what guy? Yeah, that, that makes sense, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what's your favorite food? Well, my favorite food would be sushi. Ooh. Uh, what kind of clothes do you like to wear the most? <laughs> I wear, I wear, I have, I have 15 pairs of the same khaki cargo shorts <laughs> and flip flops. <laughs> I literally have, I came here with uh, four pairs of them and one pair of um, black ones. And uh, that's it. And that's probably my... a t shirt from your own shop, right? With, with flatearthdave.com. I got, I got, I got flatearthdave.com, right. Yeah, I got yeah. a, I got, I got one in Spanish that says um, "Level Earth" in Spanish. Okay, cool. You know what um, I discovered? Did I know what I discovered? On Google Translate, you uh -huh. can hit the images button, uh -huh. and then give it access to your camera, and like you can point it at us anything in Spanish, like a menu, and it right it changes it right there to English. Yeah, I got that it's already crazy. on my phone. It's so crazy. It's cool. Yeah, it's really crazy. It's crazy. I can make measurements with my phone, like. What, yeah, what yeah, is yeah, the nature of this? Too. Just like, duh, 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 duh. oh man, with these devices, and some people think, oh, just a phone. No, man, we we got a big computer that probably can go to the moon because it has more MBs and more. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> um, what's your favorite holiday destination, Dave? Holiday destination? Well, it would be something tropical, and right now I'm in Mexico, so right now Mexico is my favorite. Okay, cool. Uh, so we come to the last two questions. What's your favorite quote? Belief is the enemy of knowing by Crow Triple Seven Radio. Anybody that's not subscribed to Crow to C R R two R's C R R O W seven 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 Radio dot com. It's an audio podcast, one mm -hmm. podcast a week. I think there's five hundred back episodes. Do not send your kids to college. Do not. That is a trap have them listen to one crow episode every day but four four new four old ones and one new one and at the end of a month let alone of a semester or a school year that kid is going to be more functional in this world than uh than anyone that went to college or didn't go to college mm, wow so 
and What's that's your- eight. That's eight. The, uh, you, you can go. You can go listen to that. But by the way, you can go. Li- that's in the homeschool section on the app. You hit the homeschool button. But um, I just just go. You can go listen. To it. It's a two hour podcast. The first hour is free. The second hour you have to subscribe. Just go listen to the first hours. After a couple of them, you're like, wait a minute, I got to hear the whole thing, and oh, you're gonna yeah, be addicted. Yeah. It's, it's eight dollars a month. It's it's no big deal. And uh, mm-hmm. compare that to how much college cost. Okay, I got the same with the uh, uh, when I went to Flat Earth files from uh, from George Hobbs. Sh- shout yeah, out George to that great. one. That's one. Of yeah, no, he told you about he told you about Crow also. Yeah, also, yeah, and and yeah, of yeah. course uh, some of them guests. Uh, I yeah. I connected with Varul and and uh, Alex through um, the Flat Earth files. Uh, yeah, to the firmamental. So I'm a little bit more now firmamental Europe and this organized production. So we work together. All we uh, work together. So and that's really tremendous. And uh, yeah, sh- big shout out to George Hobbs who does a, a tremendous job with with all these guests with with all different perspectives and stuff like that. And uh, it just makes sense if you listen to the stories that people that have to tell. Um, last question, Dave. What is your life's motto? Seek ultimate knowledge and share it with others. Wow, great one. Great one. Well, time flies by when you're having fun, isn't it? Yeah, you can talk you can talk flat earth forever. It's uh never gets bored, nobody ever leaves. Um, and that's because it's a cult. Right. Yeah. No, it's because it's the truth. It unlocks your mind. It, it lets you uh, connect with the creator and it helps you reach your full potential. And it, it, it takes the limits. They want you to believe that we're running out of everything, running out of space, food, water, electricity, everything. It's all nonsense. It's all being fear, hidden fear, from fear. us. Yeah. Right. On, on, the, on the homeschool section, the top row is a bunch of old world stuff. And Jake, I'm the improbable dreamer up there. He just put out some videos of, electric cars from a hundred or so years ago mm. that pulled the electricity out of the ether. So you don't even need to recharge them. What right? about the Zeppelins from, from early days, oh, like my, the Hindenburg and stuff like that. With thousands of people on them, thousands yeah. of people flying all around the earth. Okay. It is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Everything's unbelievable, but I am um, starting to believe in a lot of things. So mm. again, Life is never boring. Flat Earth is all say the same thing. Never bored. Are you no. ever bored? Are you ever bored? No. I used to be bored. I used to flick channels and just try to find yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. I don't have mind. that anymore. I don't have that anymore. It's so stupid. Too much right. stuff to think about, to to dig into, and stuff like that. Yeah. What's besides yes. What's besides uh, Flat Earth? Your your other favorite uh, conspiracy uh, topic. Well, the, our fake history is absolutely amazing. Um, uh, again, on the on the app, if you hit the homeschool, looks like a little home of the school desk. Uh, this oh, guy, is, oh yeah, yeah, the 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 homeschool button. It's the home with a kid and a desk. That that button. Um, and by the way, on the app, long press any button, and um, it'll tell you what it does. Like if I go back and I long press it, it tells you what it does. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So if you're trying to figure out what it what's going on. Um, but if you hit the homeschool button right here, I'm the improbable dreamer. He he looks at old buildings and then looks up at the narrative, what they say. He's proving amazing stuff. By the way, he's going to be in Hibbler's film, uh, Old World Order. Mm-hmm. Um, get caught up on his work. Jake, I'm the improbable dreamer. Um, this guy, Lu- Lucius Aurelian, he's awesome. And, of course, uh, a classic is John Levy. So these right here, and then again, Crows right here. Lots of resources. Like oh. this page alone, and there's more. There's more below. Um, this page alone will just keep you busy um, with with amazing uh, amazing knowledge, with amazing knowledge. stuff. Yeah, and shout out for Sean Hebler who's who's making a new mo- movie and he's still looking for uh, people that will fund this movie because he can't do it by itself yet. So if if you have something, also reach out to Dave FlatEarthDave.com to find everything you can imaginable. Uh, think about uh, that Dave has put it in his app and on his website about interviews, podcasts, about where he's going to show up like the 11th and the 16th February. Um, well, th- there's so much we can talk about. And that's the funny thing. And that's one of the things that uh, really intrigues me and fascinates me. People in Flat Earth com- uh, Society of, of Community, better said, they are willing to 
use their mind to think about topics that first of all that they would debunk and then they come in this in this rabbit hole just like whoa wait a minute i gotta use my brain to to get my head around and then it all makes sense and this world this veil is opening just like whoa now i found some gold and the truth and the diamonds and stuff like that which you need in life to get uh better more wisdom more knowledge that you can spread out to other people and yeah. luckily just like tattoos in the in the early days you were a bad guy uh now it's 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 uh, it's very common and let's hope that uh also for the flat earth community it will be more common that people don't just say that you're stupid or retarded but that you just can it's, have a dialogue with them and, and talk yeah. with them that's, uh, that's flat earth is uh, is taking off flat earth is going to go mainstream wasn't always right and he can't fulfill my dreams never running for all my life with the devil on my heels he wasn't always right and couldn't fulfill my dreams he's pain in the ass black as night god show me light and hold me tight I've been running for all my life With the devil on my heels He wasn't always bad And doesn't fulfill my dreams God show me the light Please hold me tight I've been running for all my life With the devil on my heels He wasn't always right Fulfill my dreams I've been running for all my life With the devil on my heels He wasn't always right And couldn't fulfill my dreams <laughs> 